everyone, welcome to your everyday go-to flow for when you only have 20 minutes but you want to get everything in. You want to feel like you've got a full, complete yoga practice in. So, let's begin in Downward Facing Dog. This is my gift to you when you want your yoga but you don't have a lot of time. Downward Facing Dog, Adho Mukha Shrinasana. Hands are shoulder width, feet are hip width apart. Draw your hips up and back. Cat on your heels, bend your right knee. And switch, left knee. One more time, each side, switch, and switch. Bring your feet together, lift your heels, bend your knees, look at your hands, step or pop your feet forward. Separate your feet hip with distance apart. Bend your knees, hook your hands behind your back, take a deep inhale, and exhale, reach your arms up and over, engage your tummy. And now maybe sway your hips a little bit from left to right. Bending each knee independently allows you to kind of rock your hips back and forth. Now, soften your knees, place your fingertips to the mat, walk your fingertips over to the right, bend your right knee, and switch, walk your fingertips over to the left, bend your other knee. So bend into your right knee when you walk to the right, bend into your left knee. So just switch, walk to the left, bend your right knee, Walk your hands to the left, to the right, bend your left knee. So switch, keep walking your hands side to side and bend the opposite knee of where your fingertips come to the outside of that foot. So bend your left knee as you walk your hands to the right and bend your right knee as you walk your hands to the left. Now place your hands on your shins, bend into both knees, inhale, lengthen, exhale, fold, inhale, neutralize, come on up. Exhale, hands to heart. So let's crank out a few A's, B's, and open our hips, and let's get this show on the road. So inhale, reach up. Exhale, forward fold, Uttanasana. Inhale, look up and lengthen, Ardha Uttanasana. Exhale, hands to the mat, step or hop to plank, and lower down, Chaturanga Dandasana. Inhale, roll to the top of the feet, Urdhva Mukha Svanasana. Exhale, draw your hips up and back, Adho Mukha Svanasana. In this downward dog, walk your hands back a little bit and then take your left hand to the outside of the right calf or heel for a spinal twist. And switch. Right hand to the outside of the left heel, spinal twist. Release the right hand forward. Walk your hands back into your full downward dog. Bring your feet together. Inhale, lift your heels. Exhale, bend the knees. Shift the gaze forward. Step or hop your feet through. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, reach your arms up, look up, maybe you're smiling. <laughs> Exhale, hands to heart, Samasa to he. One more round of Surya Namaskara, A, inhale, reach. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, step or hop back to plank, lower down, Chaturanga. Inhale, Urdhva Mukha. Exhale, Adho Mukha, downward facing dog. Bring your feet together, lift the right leg up, bend, stretch and open up that hip. Option to drop the right forearm down to get into the right shoulder. Breathe, gaze under the left arm. Pop up to straight arms, lower your right foot down and switch. Left leg lifts. Bend, stretch and open. <laughs> lower your left forearm. Maybe look under the right shoulder. Pause, breathe. Pop up to straight arms. Lower your left foot down to meet right. Bring your feet together, lift your heels, bend your knees, look forward, step or hop your feet through. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, fold. Inhale, reach your arms up, look up, bring your hands together. Exhale, hands in prayer, salas, the dihi. Bend your knees, sink your hips, utkatasana, sunamaskar B. Exhale, forward, fold over straight legs, draw yourself in. Inhale, look up and lengthen. Exhale, step or hop back to plank, lower down, chaturanga. Inhale, up. Exhale, back. Inhale, lift your right leg up, then stretch and open. Exhale, square it off, look at your hands, lunge the right foot forward, pivot the back heel in, and come on up, warrior A. Take two breaths here. Another deep breath in. Exhale, sink your hips. Hands to the mat, step back to the plank, and lower slowly controlled. Inhale, roll to the top of the feet, up dog. Exhale, draw your hips up and back, downward facing dog. Inhale, lift your left leg up. Bend, stretch and open. Exhale, square it off, lunge your left foot forward, pivot the back heel in, and coming up via Vidrasana A. So 
Draw the left hip back, bend into your left knee so that shin's at a 90 degree angle. Belly's in, tail draws under. Get in there and breathe, maybe you'll look up. Exhale, hands to the floor, step back to plank. Lower down, chaturanga. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Take two breaths here. Another deep breath in. And exhale, press back. Bring your feet together, lift your heels, bend the knees, look at your hands, step or hop your feet forward, inhale, lengthen. Exhale, we fold. Bend your knees, utkatasana, in the arms reach up. And exhale, stand tall, hands to heart, sans to tihi. Let's do one more round of certain namaskar, so bend your knees, sink your hips, inhale, reach. Exhale, forward, fold, straighten the legs. Inhale, look up and lengthen. Exhale, step or hop back to plank, lower down. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, down dog. Inhale, right leg lifts, bend stretching open, perhaps flip your dog. Right foot down, hips up, right arm reaches up and back. Maybe the look back, maybe stick your tongue out and go ah. Inhale, right hand comes down, right leg lifts. Exhale, step it forward, pivot the back heel in, and coming up to warrior A again. This round, though, have your hands reach to behind your back, hook your hands, lift your chest on the inhale, and exhale, reach the arms up and over. Hug the right hip in, bend into the front knee, back leg is strong and rooted. Breathe, humble warrior. Inhale, heart comes up, reach your arms up, and then exhale, pivot onto your back to your toes, take your left hand down, reach the right arm up for dragonfly twist. So, here you are, breathe, look up towards the thumb, and now pivot onto the knife edges of both of your feet. Stack either right foot steps back halfway in a half side plank or vasisthasana. Stack your feet, lift your hips, full vasisthasana. Look up. Then right hand down, top of a push up position, and lower all the way down to the floor. Pop up onto your forearms, pause, interlace your hands, and then take your tippy toes and hook in. Uh, in, in <laughs> Lift your hips up. So the the tippy toe, you're on your tippy toes now. Your tail is drawing under. Chest is lifting. So forearm plank is where we're at. Tail under, chest up. You just engage your core. Strong shoulders, strong plank, and then lower all the way down. Nice hands beside the chest. Inhale, come up into cobra. Exhale, come to all fours. Curl your toes. Lift your hips. Downward facing dog, Adho Mukha Shanasana. Breathe, take two breaths here, inhale. Exhale, press back. Another deep breath in, out through the nose. Inhale, left side lifts. Bend, stretch, and open. Flip your dog, left foot down, hips up, left arm reaches up and back, stick your tongue up. <laughs> left hand down, left side lifts on the inhale. Exhale, step it forward, pivot the back heel in, coming up warrior A. So draw your left hip back, right hip forward, bend into your front knee, then release your arms, hook them behind your back, lift the chest on the inhale, and exhale, reach the arms over for humble warrior. Hug your left hip in, keep reaching the arms over. Back leg is strong and rooted. Belly's drawing in, left hip's hugging in as well. Another deep inhale. Out through the nose, exhale. Inhale, use your core and legs to reach your arms up. Exhale, pivot onto the back to your toes, hands in prayer, right hand comes down to the inside of the left foot, left arm reaches up for dragonfly twist. Now, stay here for a moment, then pivot onto the knife edges of your feet. Keep that right arm strong, and then pivot your left foot either halfway back, or stack your feet, lift your hips, basi stasana, look up for a moment, then left hand comes down, top of a push-up position, lower all the way down, pause. Coming onto your forearm plank, so pop up onto your forearms, interlace your hands, curl your toes, lift your hips, belly in, tail under for three, two, one, let all of that go, pause, come up onto all fours, tabletop, curl your toes, lift your hips, downward facing dog, Adho Mukha Svanasana. From downward facing dog, bring your feet together, lift the right leg up, bend, stretch, and open. Square off hips, point your right toes towards the back of the room. Lunge your right foot forward, come into crescent lunge. Arms reach up. In your crescent lunge, have your arms come out to a T, and now twist your whole body to the right. 
Take your back hand to the outside of the back leg, left palm reaches up and back. It's called water wheel. Bend into your right knee, reach back, reach back. Inhale, come back to center, arms to a T. Exhale, hands to the floor, lower your left knee down. Wiggle your right foot over to the right so your toes are out at a 45 degree angle, left hand down, right arm reaches up and back, then bend your rear knee, reach for the top of the foot and kick the foot into your hand. First option, second option, left forearm comes down if you have enough room in the shoulders and hips to have your forearm come down. So either straight left arm, left hand on a block, or forearm down. But keep drawing, draw your chest up and back, back foot is kicking into the hand, breathe, smile. This is one of my favorite poses in all of yoga. Release your hand from your foot, wiggle your right foot to the center of the mat. And then extend your hips back, extend the right leg forward. Draw the right hip back, take a deep inhale, exhale, Ardha Hanimanasana. So right hip draws back, so your hips are squared, and then you're drawing your chest a little bit up front leg. Continue to breathe deep, continue to flex your right foot. You should feel this primarily in the right glute, right hamstring. Either forehead draws towards the shin or chin to shin, whatever feels best on your neck. Another deep inhale. Out through the nose, exhale. Inhale, lift the chest, bend into your right knee, step back to plank. Take your vinyasa, chaturanga. Inhale, Urgo Mudra. Exhale, Adho Vishwanasana, downward facing dog. Two breaths in downward dog, inhale. Exhale. Another deep breath in. Exhale, press back. Inhale, left leg lifts, bend, stretch, and open. Exhale, square it off, lunge your left foot through, come on up. Press and lunge. Bring your hands in prayer, open them out, and then twist your whole body to the left. Take your back hand to the outer back thigh, right palm flips up, reach it back, continue to sink your hips, continue to extend your back leg, stay strong and rooted as you reach back. Good work. And then inhale, come back to center, reach your arms up, exhale, hands in prayer, lower your right knee down. Wiggle your left foot over to the left so your foot's at a 45 degree angle. Right hand down, bend your rear knee, reach the left hand for the top of the foot and draw the foot into your hand as you lean your heart back. And if you have more room, right forearm down. Keep rolling onto the neck edge of your left foot. Keep reaching your heart back for three. Don't forget to breathe, two. Final. Release your hand from your foot. Wiggle your left foot to the center of the mat. Shift your hips back, extend your left leg. Ardha Hanumanasana gets into the hamstrings, the glutes, the quads. Inhale, chest up. Exhale, fold over that front thigh. Shoulders easy, either chin to shin or forehead to knee, but soften the shoulders. Keep that core engaged. Keep breathing into your hamstrings. Maybe then close your eyes for a moment here. Soften the shoulders. Pop up onto straight arms, bend your left knee, step back to plank. Lower all the way down, belly, chest, and chin. Pop up onto your forms, bend your knees. So first option right here. Second option, straighten arms with bent knees. Third option, Dhanurasana, bow pose. Reach back through your ankles. And then on the inhale, thighs back, chest up. Thighs back, chest up. So kick the feet into your hands. Kick your feet into your hands, lift your chest. The thighs are pressing, the heart's lifting. This is the back end. Yes, stay strong. Three, keep breathing. Two, one, then let it go. Hands to the floor. Curl your toes, lift your hips, downward facing dog. From downward facing dog, bring your toes together, inhale, lift the heels. Exhale, bend the knees, step or hop forward. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, fold. Inhale, lengthen again, separate your feet. Hip on the part, toes out, heels in, bend your knees, bend your knees, you go squat. Here you are. Woo! All right, we're gonna do a little core, and then we're gonna do some floor movements, and then we're gonna wind up in our shavasana. So, booty down, whoop. Shift the weight into your sitting bones. So if you've got bony sitting bones like me, sometimes I roll them out a little to create a little cushion here, but draw your knees towards your chest. Shoulders draw down and back. Squeeze your knees together like you've got a walnut there and you're holding onto it. Interlace your hands behind your back. Draw your chest behind your, behind your head. Lift your chest up, take a deep inhale. Exhale, twist to the left. 
Inhale, grab to center, exhale, twist to right. Inhale, center, exhale, twist. Inhale, center, exhale, twist. Inhale, center, exhale, twist. Now open your knees, reach your arms forward like you are in Bakasana. So you're in kind of like a butterfly pose here. Heels together, knees up, arms are reaching. <laughs> then draw your knees together, reach the arms over to left so you're in a Ardha Bakasana. Inhale, open the knees, arms forward. Exhale, knees together, arms to the right. Inhale, open your knees, arms come forward like you're in Bakasana. Exhale, Ardha Bakasana. Inhale, open your knees, Bakasana. Exhale, Ardha Bakasana. Knees to chest. And then come on up to your yogi squat right from here. And you're going to work on taking a Bakasana. So hands to the floor, shoulder width. Knees come as close to the armpits as you can. Squeeze your forearms and round through the upper back. Draw your right heel towards your tushy, left heel towards your tushy. Then straighten the arms. Look out, don't look down. Step or shoot your legs back to plank. Lower down, try to run that and go up. Exhale back, downward up. From downward facing dog, just step your right foot through and then walk your hands to the center of the mat. Walk your hands all the way through your legs, bend your elbows and come into your Prasarita Padatanasana variation here. So your legs are apart and you're using your arms to draw the hips up over the heels. Now you can reach for the back of your feet, where whatever feels most comfortable. And then those of you who don't want to pop into a headstand, hands to the mat, top of the head to the floor, and then shift your hips up and over and legs come up. So here you are in your headstand. Yes. Sheer sasana, we want to get technical. Those of you who want to come into bakasana from here, bend your knees, place your knees to your triceps, squeeze the forearms in, chest up. Here you are, bakasana. Maybe you come back down for a moment and then head to the floor. Shoot your legs up. Sheer sasana. Open your legs, lower your feet. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, walk your hands to the front of the mat. Lower your left knee down. Extend your right leg. Here you can come to your full Hanuman. So right leg wiggle it forward, left leg wiggle it back, chest up. So full Hanuman, chest up. Maybe even the arms reach. Take a moment here for three, and two, and one. Hands to the floor, bend your right knee, and just take a pigeon right from here. So wiggle your right foot over behind the left wrist, curl the back toes under, come into your Ekapada Raja Kapatasana. Now look over your left shoulder, make sure your left hip's in line with your left ankle, then release the toes, now look forward. Draw the right hip back, lead with the chest, inhale and exhale, walk your forearms to the floor. Maybe the top of the head comes to the floor, but draw your right hip back, left hip forward. Use that action of drawing your legs together to get into the right glute. You're really feeling this in the right glute. And just hang out here for three, two, and one. Right from here, pop up to straight arms. Step your right foot back. So here you are, right foot forward. And then right from here, you're just going to walk your hands to the center and turn to face the back of the mat. Drop your right knee down, extend your left leg coming into full Hanuman. So wiggle, wiggle the right foot back, left foot forward, pop up out your fingertips, chest up, or lower, if you can lower down, lower down. Some people like to place a block under the left thigh. So if that's available, go for it. Inhale, arms reach. If you feel steady, if you don't feel steady, keep your hands to the floor. But keep lifting your heart, keep your back toes curled under so your hips remain square. Hang out here for a few breaths. Chest up, shoulders down. So this is called Hanumanasana. From your Hanuman, walk your left foot back, and then wiggle your left foot behind the right wrist, curl the back toes under, and then hug that right hip in, lower the right knee, and then again in this Epipata Raja Kapatasana, Look over the right shoulder, make sure your right hip lines up with the right ankle. So you can do that by curling the toes under, lifting your knee up, rotating your right hip in, the knee down, toes to the floor. And then once you see that alignment, draw that left hip 
back and right hip forward, and then drop onto your forearms. And find some place to settle here. Take a few breaths, feeling this primarily in your left glute, and keep your shoulders soft. Keep breathing into this hip opener. Take another deep breath in, out through the nose, another deep inhale, exhale. Inhale, straighten the arms, walk your hands back, walk your left foot to the center, pull the back toes under, hike the back knee up, and then right from here, guys, just step your feet to the front of the mat, <laughs> bend your knees, drop your booty to the floor. Ah, all right, lay onto your back. <laughs> Hug your knees in. Roll from left to right. Hug your right knee and extend your left leg. And then right knee comes across the body. Lift your chest, gaze to your left. You can stay here or extend your top leg. That's up to you. So make a straight right leg, right shoulder softens. Look to your right, take a moment here. It's almost over. So we did a little bit of everything. It was fast paced. It was let's get it done but we're gonna do it efficiently and quickly. And then hug your knees in, other side, left knee, hug it in, bring it across the body, so left foot's on top of the right thigh now, left arm comes out like a wing, and then extend that top leg if it's possible. Look up or look to your left. Take a moment here. Just releasing the outer IT band of your left leg. And then hug your knees in, rock and roll up to your seat. And there you have it, your 20 minute flow. So those of you who have more time and can take your Shavasana, take it. Otherwise, come to seat, close your eyes. You made it. Thank you for joining me today for this very fast, let's get it done, 20 minute flow. Take a deep inhale. Congratulate yourself, you did it, exhale. Hands to prayer, bow your head. Namaste.